Welcome to the Princess Monique Show, and I am Princess Monique, your host, and I have had an amazing time today interviewing a guy who's not just an NBA champion, but who's also a book author. His name is Derek Anderson. I had the pleasure of attending his book signing for the book Stamina, where he gave not only us the book, signed the book, but gave us a motivational, inspirational story about his life, as well as just inspired the whole crowd about everything that he's been through and how he's been able to succeed in spite of the odds. So just to start off though, um, how did you go from being an NBA player to an author? Tell me about that journey. Actually, I was an author before I was an NBA player. Really? Okay. Yeah. Growing up the way I did, uh, I used to have to write a lot of my stuff, ideas, and thoughts down since I was in certain situations. So, like living in a shelter home, I didn't have a family around. So, I basically used to write all my problems and thoughts and stuff like that. You know, your father, if both your parents leave, it becomes a struggle. You know, my dad left at 10, and then my mother left me at 11. So I was staying in an apartment, been in an apartment at 11 years old. You know, I have to offend myself. The power got cut off, so I'm eating cold food, raw potatoes, bread, you know, faucet water take cold baths for like days at a time. You find and yourself, nobody knew that you were... Who's gonna find it? I'm 11 years old and your mother lives. I mean, who knows it? You're in the apartment. You're in the project. You, you didn't tell anybody? Like, well, we didn't tell. We're in the project. Okay. When, you're, when you're poor, you're around poor people. And where you grew up at? No, no, no. Okay. So tell me how, with all this going on, raising the baby, being 14, well, 16 years old now, you're getting good at, better at bas basketball. How did that get you to the NBA? Well, basically it taught me survival. And it also taught me not to give up. A lot of these kids make excuses. They be like, well, man, y'all don't understand how it is. And, oh, yeah, we do. Everybody's going through what you've gone through, if not worse. So why should I give a reason or a fake uh, ID to give up? You know, that's not something that I believe in. I never stop. And that's why I call my book stamina. You know, if you never just stop, if you ever stop, you lose. That's just going to happen. As soon as you stop, you lose. But I just felt like I never wanted to stop. So. I won to win in two middle school championships, high school, college, junior Olympics, and the NBA. It was because I never stopped. And that's the reason why I've been able to be so blessed and successful at this point. As you read it, you'll start to see some of my life lessons basically just turning people's minds around. Because if you put ourselves in any other situation, people will look at America and be like, those are the dumbest people in the world. They have so many opportunities, but because their egos, their prides, their hatred, their jealousy, their envy, those become problems. And that's, and that's the way, but if you change the thought process of your children, that changes our future leaders, therefore they'll start making the same changes. So, but tell me about other things that you're doing, because I know you're doing other things outside of uh, writing. There's, um, movie there's a lot of stuff I'm doing. I'm writing, I'm, I've written, uh, written a couple of movies. I have an animation that I've written, and it's about life and about real life. You know, the president, the people's roles have changed in society. Oh, yeah. So I've wrote an animation to bring realistic things into a comedy type of, you know, characterized uh, animation. So for me, I just kind of want to live all of my ideas. I used to watch Alfred Hitchcock, then I'd watch Good Times. I watched Sanford the Sun, then I'd watch Johnny Carson. <laughs> like, I was all over the place, so I never had, my mind was never stifled. So I just want to be a, a good screenwriter and put all my emotions out on TV right now. So. That's been my biggest uh, biggest thing that I've been staying focused on. Like, and how can people find this the book stand-up? Uh, right now it's uh, my site, Derek Anderson Works, but uh, I'm going to Barnes and Nobles, be on Amazon, be ebooks. I'm gonna go on a bunch of TV shows, so a lot of people will be able to see it and it'll be uh, it's gonna be everywhere. But it's it's more of a once you hear about it from other people, you'll feel like you've already read the book. Because I think a lot of people are already talking about the life lessons that we need to learn as as parents and as a uh, as children. Well, I'm looking forward to reading it, so you have to sign mine right now. Okay, you got a pen? No. Oh, you ain't got a pen, you got a book signing, but you ain't got a pen. No, but it's all good. He will sign my book. But thank you. That's